Hi, let us understand how to do the installation of Vault as a part of CentOS operating system. I do have a sample CentOS operating system. Here I'm going to get the Vault downloadable. I can get into the download page. Here I do have the Linux downloads. I can select the architecture that I wanted and copy the link. I'm going to download the zip file. In Linux also, it will be a zip file. I can unzip and it is going to have a single executable file. It's going to provide me a single executable file vault. I can add this particular path as a part of the bash rc file so that I can execute the command vault from any location. Let me go ahead and edit the bash rc file. I'm going to get into the home directory. Within bash rc, I have added the path slash root hashicorp slash vault within that I do have the executable and all the commands that I'm executing over here within the course I will be adding it as a part of the resources so you don't need to note down the commands only change the path corresponding to your installation path location otherwise all the record resource files commands I will be adding it within the resources so once the bash rc file is updated I can source them so that the latest changes would get updated now I can execute the vault command from any location. That's going to give the command option. That means vault is installed. Now I can start the vault in the developer mode. Vault server dash dev. That's going to get started in the predefined configurations. Again, it will be starting in the port 8200 and the web UI can be accessed only from the local host. We need to make the configuration changes what change to be made we will be seeing it later in case if you want to have the access to the web ui install it in your local system and you will be in a position to access or otherwise you have to use ssh tunneling i will be adding an instruction on how to do the ssh tunneling at the end of the lectures now the vault is started now let's go ahead and access the vault without exporting this particular environmental variable i'm starting a new terminal i'm going to Check the status of the vault, vault status. So it's going to give an error message saying it's not able to get the sealed status because by default it is going to access in the HTTPS port. So we need to make this particular change as provided by the output. So here, if you observe very carefully, I'm setting the protocol as HTTP and by default, it will try to access HTTPS. So I'm going to set the environmental variable export as this so that it can access the HTTP port. Now let me check the vault status. Yes, I am able to get the vault status and as we discussed earlier, it's going to get initialized by default and it will be in the unsealed state. Now we have installed vault as a part of the Linux operating system as well. And this particular Linux operating system is running in a remote location, I will not be in a position to access the web UI using its IP address because the web UI is by default enabled only in the local host. We can configure the SSH tunneling that we will be seeing it in the next lecture.